Hello. So, um, it's time for week two of, um, I guess round two of the uh, Revelations tourney. The tourney in which um, we have the buffed mons, including arguably one of the broken, most broken mons. So, we're against Lyric, and you can see this is the team that Lyric brought week one. Um, so... They've got a couple interesting things to note. Um, this doesn't mean they're going to use this, like, this team of six. They could choose to reveal their second team of six. But, this is at least their t six for this week, uh, for the first week. So, they have Politoed, who didn't get any changes. Shaman Sky is their mythical of choice. Mega Sizzle and Pachirisu. Those were the ones that didn't receive any changes. The ones that did receive changes are Don Manitan and Luminion. I mentioned Don Manitan last week. Um, uh, but Don Manitan gets V create. One of the things that as soon as this tourney is over, we are not having again. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, it's getting banned as soon as this tournament is over. Um, but because people have already started using it, it's like, yeah, well, it's fine for this tournament, but after this, no more. Um, v Create Dom is incredibly terrifying, so trying to get through it is going to be dangerous. Um, the other buffed mon was Luminion. Alongside Meganium, Luminion went so through some of the most changes. And Luminion is actually kind of a. It's actually good now. It's actually a Pokemon. <laughs> um, so, on top of actually giving it Drizzle, so they have two Rain Setters. Um, it now gets access to both Origin Pulse and Fisher's Rend as offensive coverage, as well as Hurricane. Not only that, it also gets supporting options like uh, Helping and, and Heal Pulse. Um, there's no point really showing the replay because... The six mons are locked in, but the item spreads, uh, moves, they can all change. So, yeah. Um, so for me this week, I ended up going with, um, I've gone with my same six as I did last week. Because um, really I don't want to reveal too much, like second week in. And if I lose to V-Create Dom, I lose to V-Create Dom. So. Meganium is physically defensive. Um, with Reflector pick or in Rain, it can probably actually take a V create. And a lot of their team is physical. The only thing that like might not be physical is like Luminion with Hurricane and uh, and Shaman Sky. But I can at least take one of those hits each um, because of multi scale. So we've got the same move set because honestly, this move set's really good. Um, like, Giga Drain is really tempting, but, like, even still, Giga Drain doesn't do that much damage. So, I'd probably just keep, like, other important ones healthy. Uh, Gengar. It is still Mega Gengar. Um. We've gone with T-Bolt over Icy Wind this time, because they actually have a couple water types, and no resist slash immunities, because, uh, Battery Suit doesn't get it. That doesn't get Lightning Rod, so. We've just got Geng. We've got, a. Uh, We've got good old Mega Gengar. Um, I guess I could take off Shadow Ball. Um, but that would mean I wouldn't have as much to hit Mega Scizor. So. That's why Gengar's here. Insin, it's a bulky specially defensive Insin, so it can actually take like Origin Pulses uh, with Assault Vest. Um, Flare Blitz one shots sh uh, Shaman Sky as long as Rain isn't up. That's the. Thing we went for this also lives um rain boosted fishes rend from adamant max attack uh luminion in rain so fake out pressure is gonna be really nice um any way to slow down this dom is gonna be good um torn we've got tailwind taunt weather ball and u-turn if they are i'm expecting scarf but if it's an if it's uh if it's not scarf and it's banned we can actually outspeed and weather ball. Um, use their rain against them and kill the Dom. 
And um, we've still got Taunt Tailwind. That's going to really bother me to the fact that it starts over. Um, I may change the music then. I didn't realize it just like, it looped like that. Ugh. Ugh, that really bothers me. Um, so, yeah. Um, but other than that, we just basically took off Air Slash from last week and bottom Weather Ball. Give it a U-turn because I still like the pivot ability of Torn. Um, and range should be up for most of this game because they have two Drizzle setters. Um, kind of counteracts with the Insane plan, but I can probably get Chip on, uh, what's it called? On Shaman, so. Megana, we're going with AV again. I think the only difference this time is instead of, uh, Aura Sphere, we're going with T-Bolt, uh, because of the waters. Um, there's no coverage it gets to hit Dom, there's no coverage it gets to hit, like, it doesn't get fire coverage for Scizor, it doesn't get, um, any coverage to hit Dom, so, we're just going with T-Bolt. So, and other than that, AV just to help take hits. Oh yeah, speed. Um, so some of the speeds you might have noticed are a little weird. Um, this out, when, when it's mega anyway, this outspeeds uh, Shaman Sky. Um, this outspeeds uh, Shaman Sky in... Was it Shaman Sky? Was it four? Oop. Um, ignore that. It's, I think it is Shaman Sky. I think it is Shaman Sky for, uh, like, while this isn't Tailwind, it'll be Shaman Sky. I think. I think that's what it's for. Uh, Dom, that's be Shaman Sky. Uh, I couldn't get this thing to outspeed anything. This, uh, this is one point faster than Dom. And then this in Tailwind will outspeed, uh, Shaman Sky. Uh, then Reggie Lucky, same set as last week, but he's a lot bulkier. Um, Volt Switch one-shots uh, offensive uh, Lumineon. It's got enough speed, speed to outspeed uh, Jolly Scarf Darm. Um, and because of the bulk, if we get ref if we put up Reflect, I didn't look at Double's Reflect. Oh, I'm so dumb. I only looked at Single's Reflect. It might need a bit more bulk. I'm... What on earth is this? I don't know what this is. Whatever. Um... We're just gonna have to pray then. <laughs> I forgot it was doubles. I only looked at singles calcs, but yeah. Um, ref getting Reflector will hopefully slow down his Dom. Volt Switch still KOs. We'll slow down with Electro Web. Like, just get the, the dual screens Lecky is going to be good. And slowing down Dom to make sure something else can pick up a KO will be nice. It's like, if I get Reggie Lecky in and Torn, like, I can Electro Web the, uh, uh, the, the Dom and then slow it out of its Scarf, essentially, and then Web a Ball and take it out. So, um, now I'm going to change songs because this is going to bother me because it doesn't loop right. This one might be better. So, hopefully it works. Hopefully this one loops properly instead of just cutting. So... Uh, yeah. Um, I'm also for once actually doing the intro before, like right before the battle, because I I messaged Lyric earlier today. Um, I was like, "Hey, do you want uh, when do you want a battle?" Because like our battle was due like this Saturday for this, because we actually have to put a time limit on now, because like we want to start. We want this to end when UBL actually ends, so. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the one. 
Uh, right, because 56 was, yeah, 56 was the test. Alright, and we are in, and they have brought the same six. Um, we'll drop him a GLHF. Um, they've already copied the link. They are on top of things. So yeah, we, they've gone the same six as last time, and I've gone the same six as last time. Um, the thing is, I don't really know what they want to lead. I think they probably want to lead something they can deal with Gengar quickly. Um... I think we're going to go... Instant Torn. This might be a mistake. It's not really... A a lot of offensive pressure off the bat. Also, we remember this time that we're not supposed to start Mega. <laughs> um, like, pretty much all of us did it last week, and we all realized, wait, we shouldn't be starting Mega. Um, that probably gave me a very big advantage last week. Because <laughs> starting with Mega Gengar is broken. <laughs> so... They are leading double rain. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm running parting shot in AV. Can we call me the biggest idiot alive? Yes, yeah, so I think I think we can. Um right, I'm gonna Gonna set up Tailwind. Ow. Oh, come on! <laughs> really? Um. Why me? <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting so unlucky. <laughs> it's fine, I'm just gonna put all of your things to sleep. I just wanna four out. <laughs> Can I just like four, please? Push now. Um. Oh my god, none of these loop right. It's gonna bother me so much. I mean, I may as well, if I'm gonna like, yeah. Oh, it does get fault absorb. That's upsetting. Right, that's why you use it. Whatever, nothing happens.
Push. I really need to do something. That slept for one turn. So the fun thing here is if it wakes up, it follows me and like, I redirect to sleep powder it into it again. Okay. Unfortunately, I just vault switched the one thing out. <laughs> There's like outspeed scoffed arm. So I probably just have to go into Winston. We missed the sleep powder. That is very unfortunate. I'm <laughs> just being annoying and trying to spread sleep powders. Um, I'm gonna fake out. I just want to hit Sleep Powder, okay? Alright, I'm going to Rage Powder and Lariat. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, I'm going to Protect. And I'm a Flare Blitz. <laughs> oh, okay, so Dom's down. That's really big for us. Elite do it. The game is turning out to be very good. I forgot about the fact that I was going to bring in Magena, so like, yeah. Um... See, if, pa if Pacho Rizu, bad say, if Pacho Rizu came in, then yeah. Like, it didn't matter. Oh, the crit through, why? But it's fine, because Magena gets a attack boost. <laughs> um... So we can Vault Switch. Actually, I think I'm going to Electro Web D Gleam. Yeah, I think that's the play. Oh, Magina! <laughs> Magina doing Magina things. Alright, Reflect absolutely goes up here. Um, and T-Bolt is the move of choice, I think. 
You will speed max speed scissor. Or, or like no investment scissor anyway. That just that did just uh protect, right? Yeah. I mean, it's reflect regardless, it's just whether I'm going for Scizor or not. Can I two it, Kato? Um... I don't have that much special attack. How much special attack do I have? Oh, almost max. Versus... Scizor. If it's really bulky on the special defense side, it'll take two, but otherwise it's not taking two. I wonder if I go for... no, I think I do this. Goes for the double. We get Reflect up, down goes Young Cracker. Like he takes like, like a champ. We can go for the double spread here. Um, so we go with light screen and Deagling? Yeah, because of follow me. Ooh, that nuzzle's big. That's a huge nuzzle. Um with what I have left in the back, I think I'd do I prefer Shaman Sky or Insan? Okay, so Geng Gengar outspeeds unless it's Scarfed. Which I guess we'll find out here if it's Scarfed. I don't have that much special type investment on my Lucky. Uh, it's very annoying because, like, Reggie's Lucky sits don't just exist yet. So it's hard for me to just go for it. Um, the Sizzle didn't protect last turn. Oh yeah, BP. God, if I get through power flinch? Yeah, that's not happening. That was never happening. Um, I'm gonna go Insan. I was gonna max then. I was like, wait, what? What am I doing? What do I want gone? What do I want to stop this turn? Because I can fake out something. I don't think that has protect. We flinch. Exorza comes out into Incin, does like nothing. And then D-Gleam is just going to destroy the universe. Um. <laughs> GG. Cool. So we got game one. They are getting the replays up. 
Can we jump back in for game two? Uh, we took out Dom really easily, actually. So. Like, that was really nice. Last time I didn't even need Gengar. They led Rain last time into Insane Torn. Well, Torn did get frozen last time. I like Instant Lecky, actually. That was the other lead I was considering. Instant Lecky versus... Dom Pachirisu. Seeing Pachirisu's lead is so good for me. Um. Just straight into there. Um, I think I should go for it just in case they try and read me. Um, God, there's nothing to like, like, really to switch into. I guess it's just Meganium, not Meganium, Meganium. Ooh, interesting. Huge, huge damage. Because now there's no fake out pressure. I'm still going to try and take out Pachirisu. Uh, but I'm going to protect. Because I think they want Meganium gone. Last time it was a huge problem for them. They actually go for the rock slide. Try and break the shield that way. Not the shield, the multi scale. I'm gonna go Lecky Torn. That's kind of bad because I lose my Torn. Lecky's alive though. So I could go Insin. I could go Gengar, honestly. I think Gengar might be the play. Because I can Electro Whip. Uh, sludge bomb the gang uh this or shadow ball probably shadow ball just in case of thingy coming in so we'll go for electro web and mega evolve and uh, try and take out the storm and they go into poly too Let's just check out Re Reggie Lecky. If I take it off KOs, then yeah. So, we T-Bolt here, and we Sludge Bomb here. Nah. Didn't go too fast. And McGinnis gets plus two. So, Dom's coming in every day of the week. And Luminion. 
Can I live? A plus two. I oh, sorry, I could can I live a V create Um I don't have max HP. Is Dom all I'm worried about? Not really, I do kind of have to worry about Hogfish. See, Helping Hand, but it's not scarfed, it's banded! <gasps> and McGinnis goes down. <laughs> Um, I don't think Sludge Bomb would have taken it out, but the thing is they can't switch. They can't switch because of Gengar, so we're gonna put the 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 fish to sleep. Okay, two things. I'm so dumb. They're not using it for Drizzle, they're using it for Swift Swim. That's why they're using it. Like, it didn't occur to me about Swift Swim. It just didn't. Like, Swift Swim didn't even cross my mind. It really didn't. And sets up Tailwind. Uh... Okay. So we've got a game three. I played that one horribly. I played that one super badly. They basically just call me out on so much. I need to mix up what I'm doing. What happened that game? I think I just underestimated what Luminium was going to do, honestly. <sighs> I also didn't realize Luminium got Swift Swim, and that's what they were using the Drizzle for. I think it's gonna be- I'm gonna go back to the original lead. The fake out onto Dom is almost so obvious, I don't want to go for it. But I'm going to go for it. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to taunt this patch of Rizu. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad I went for what I did. Alright, game, I'm asking you one time. T 
wrong with the one? Let's go Torn. So I'm still, like, because we know it's banded, um, as dumb as it is to say, I actually still at speed it because it's a Tailwind. They are stuck on Rock Slide. I really don't want to make this risky of a switch, but I don't think they stay in anyway. Don't burn me again. Thank you. Heals a target at 50%. Okay, I do not want to be going for that. Listen, I know I'm going for sleep powders of all things, but like, come on. <laughs> I think it's super fine into Meganium and then picking off this Torn. Um... No, it's Nuzzle. You know, one of these days I'm going to land a Sleep Powder and it's going to feel great. I'm so afraid to floral healing. I mean, was it? It probably just goes for Super Fang, right? Nope, in comes Sizzle. I think this is the Torn Sack, unless they're going for Meganer. I've played this so badly. Um, I just keep letting everything get paralyzed. That's actually this is the right move, isn't it? With Sizzle Mega, oh, you... the one turn. So, do they think I'm just gonna nuke this? Or they think I'm gonna like, fl like, do something else. Because I could just nuke it. How much health is the. I probably dies on switching. Um. Let me go for it. Okay. I 
try and get this Scizor asleep. Let's for the air slash. We actually don't get slept. Wait, so we don't get flinched. We actually land a sleep pad and it has sash. I think it's a torn sack into Lariat. Or do I just take out the Sizzle while I have the chance and not mess around with sleep turns? Because I could. Shaman's Guy isn't that scary in the end game at this point. So yeah, sack torn and I'm going to flare blitz uh, Sizzle. Damn it! I think this is a good opportunity to go to Gengar, right? Yeah, I think so. Is very much what we like to call annoying. Um, but now they are stuck in here. I don't want to do this because it's really important I get this right. I think the play is Shadow Ball switch to Meganium. Barely live. We double protect. Saw out a turn of rain. Take out the fish. Take an ice beam. Don't do it. Instinct gives me fake out pressure. Lucky gives me speed control. McGinney gets a boost. What health is this all on? It's asleep. Magina might be able to snowball at this point. Because Dom, Dom comes in, I KO it. 
Um, I KO that. Yeah, I'm gonna go Magina. Just it's we know it's banded, not scarfed. Helping hand, but it's not fast enough. Take it down. Magena gets a boost. Goes for T-Bolt. Gets his second boost. Shadow Ball. It woke up. Goes for the BP, but it's not enough fun to Magena. Take that down. Get the extra boost. And we get the win. Ooh! Oh, God. Friggin' Lyric. Lumidion actually, like, putting in way too much work. I didn't even think about Swift Swim going into this. Um, <laughs> I got really quiet there. I do apologize. Um, I tried to no normally narrate, but I was thinking so much. My brain was like in overdrive. Jeez. Because it was a lot about picking and choosing my pieces, and it felt like a lot of my stuff was getting worn down. Um, like so quickly. But once again, Magina coming in, in the late game. And Gengar trapping there. Like, I didn't use Gengar at all game one, and I won. Game two, like, I kind of tried to use Gengar too aggressively, and it just didn't work. And this time, basically, I just put them in a position where they just couldn't do anything. Like, Gengar... Like, I put myself in the right position there. Like, that switching to Meganium won me the game. That switching to Meganium won me that game single-handedly. Because it meant no matter what they went to, they couldn't touch the Gengar. And Gengar could start picking off the offensive pieces while Polyoto kind of just sat there. And that's li that one switch... Where was it? Um, This turn 12 right here, this turn won me the game. Because that's what let me get off as much pressure as I did. Where I took, where I took out... Took out the Shaman, switched into Meganium, and just got the pressure f rolling from there. Because I forgot the Sizzle was asleep. Um, so Sizzle was asleep. Luminion, we stole out the rain anyway, but like it meant it couldn't do anything it wanted to. It, it couldn't go for, it couldn't hit Gengar because of Rage Powder. Um, Dom couldn't hit it with Rage Powder, and I'd KO it. Hell, heck, I even outspeed it. Because uh, it was banded. Um, Pachirisu wasn't coming in and doing anything. So I just put myself in a position where with that with that Meganium switch in, I won the game. So that was a huge game. Um, really well played to Lyric. Again, they're using something... Like, obviously Dom is broken. And they're using banded Dom just to show how powerful it is. Because it is literally like one of the only things ever that can actually one-shot Meganium. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, it's ridiculous, um, but also Luminion, like, actually is a lot, it's really threatening in rain because of Fish's Rend, uh, and Swift Swim, so I completely understand it, um, I understand why they went for it, like, that makes so much sense, and actually makes Luminion, like, it's called, to, to, to note, to note, um, Luminion has 69 attack. But you slap a life orb on there and give it rain boosted fishes rings and it's gonna hurt. So yeah. Um yeah, well played to Lyric. Um So yeah, that'll do it. So um Uh I guess we'll see you guys in the next battle. So take it easy everyone.